Hello everybody, welcome, welcome, welcome to this Blooming Room of Faith show YouTube page. I hope everybody had a good day. Did you have a, 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 a great day today? Okay, welcome, 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 welcome. Um, we're just going to go very quickly um, to talk about, to continue our conversation yesterday about um, the church and, and sexuality issues that... Um, plague the church and how the conversations that relate to um, sexuality are uh, sex sensuality are oftentimes on a hush hush in church and people don't like to talk about it and yesterday i addressed particularly on um, the issue that had to do with uh, a woman of god that reached out to me and with complaints about the lack of um, sexual fulfillment um, in her marriage and we addressed a couple of issues that went at, that dealt with um, 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 the, the impact of um, weight, the impact of of over spiritualizing everything, and the impact of um, introducing other sexual toys or things that would add to the sexual experience, and also. Um, and sexual and hygiene we also talked about hygiene and also talked about um, sexual positions now some of these conversations i have in depth with people when i have a one-on-one -on -one. there's a level of depth that i usually that I, I i feel comfortable to address in this kind of open and public forum i tend to like to go more in depth when i have a one-on-one -on -one conversation um with with, with um, clients when they reach out to me so if it's something you're interested in send me a message and we can have an interaction um, if it's a legitimate concern then we can address it yeah tonight however i want to continue on the path of um, the, the church and i think that oftentimes when we when we relate with one another in intimate relationships the the thinking is that now i'm going to lean towards addressing the men's side a little bit uh, yesterday we addressed the women's side today it's just going to be i'm going to address the men's side and it's often misconstrued that all you need all you need to be a man and all you need to satisfy your woman is just the fact that you have a mass of muscle dangling in between your legs That's not true. You see, men need to understand mm -hmm. that just the way that they experience pleasure when they are using that mass of muscle, they need to understand that the other person inside of whom you are sticking that mass of muscle also is entitled to experience pleasure. Pleasure should not be one-sided. Both individuals are by right entitled to give and receive it's give and receive they are entitled to giving and also receiving pleasure it's not enough for one individual to just go boom 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 and then you zip up and then you just roll over to the other side and then the next thing we hear is <coughs> excuse me you know, <clears throat> and there's a loud snore. No, you perform the task. So your partner, you should be able to receive feedback. Did I meet up? Did I meet your expectation? Did I satisfy you? How would you like me to do it? Would you like me to try something different? But I think in this aspect a lot of men are just very sensitive they don't want to hear it and any attempt for their partner to raise the issue about not being satisfied is seen as an insult the pride is bruised is seen as being labeled less than is seen as being accused it's, it's almost as if 
the, the, some 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 men have actually said to their wives like I've, I've heard in the few that oh you said hanging around bad girls I'm like what is that oh you said them um, who, who are you what are you watching what kind of movies are you watching now chief it's give and take you climaxed she's also so entitled to climaxing She's also interested in what? She's also interested in going high and coming down. It can't be all about you. So there is no bad girlism, no whateverism, nothing of that nature. And the worst part is accusation of infidelity. Come on now. You, you don't expect her to go somewhere else and get that satisfaction. So you should be able to perform and satisfy her in the bedroom. And if she says that I'm not quite, then you need to find out where the issues are. And both of you need to have these conversations. And both of you need to try several things and try several positions and try several conversations to find out how you can make this thing just as pleasurable to her as it is to you. Assuming that it is pleasurable to you, of course. But it has to be a balance. There has to be a balance. So, we need to understand that women have a right in a relationship, in an intimate relationship, to receive satisfaction. We need to find out. Don't just stick. Some people want to put their fingers inside a woman and they don't even keep their nails clean or cut their nails. You do know that women are very prone to infections. And so if you don't keep your nails short, you don't cut your nails, and you're just sticking that finger with that long, you're going to cut her. And the next thing you know, she's going to have an, if not just pain, but also infection. So keep your nails short. And for those of you who ask for a woman to put her mouth on your mass of muscle in between your legs, you must also be willing to put your mouth on the mass of muscle between her legs. You cannot be lord and master where it is you alone and not her. If you want oral, you gotta give oral. It's both ways. And this is an area where I feel like our Francophone cousins a little bit more advanced than we are because when it comes to um, I've had convers several conversations and I've, I've listened to the weight of conversations that are coming from the West African um, my, my West African colleagues and also from my Francophone colleagues and you can see the, the dichotomy of views and perspectives when it comes to these issues there was a difference there was a dichotomy in views the West African side is a little bit more conservative. That, that's the, for lack of a, a better word. It's a little bit more conservative when it comes to these issues as compared to the French uh, Francophone cousins. They are more libre, liberal, you know, more l'amourish, more, you know, like it's love, you know, like, like all is fair and love. Like it's love, make love. Give love, seek love, get love. They are more, you know, like our West African colleague, uh, uh, brethren and cousins, they are a different breed. And I also think that it is perhaps also the impact of religion and tradition, religion and tradition, all of it mixed together in this mash and this mesh and bowl of, of, of strictness that makes it a little bit difficult for us to express ourselves in the bedroom and it, it's something that is, makes one curious as to how we think that we're supposed to go and so we find yourself when you step out of a particular culture and you go into a different culture and this woman is expecting some things and you're not able to perform it's also because of the right and wrongness that we have attached to several of these things what is right and what is wrong 
So please, you want oral, give oral. You want to use your fingers, cut your nails, keep it short, fouled, and keep it clean. Wash your hands, please. Because a woman's body is very sensitive and prone. We don't want to have to have intrusions and itching and, and hot sensation when you go to pee. And if you're uncircumcised as a man and you have that extra layer of skin on top of it, please keep it clean. Because bacteria and sweat and all of that, that's the problem between that's the problem with between an uncircumcised man and a circumcised man. A circumcised man, the skin is very smooth when they wash, they bathe, it's easy to just clean it up. Except for the angle which is around the head, which is under. But for this um, for this uncircumcised that's for the circumcised. But for the uncircumcised, you have this extra layer of skin that just forms over like extra fat, just like my dress is. So you need to put your hands under and make sure that you're washing and cleaning. Otherwise, different times when you put that thing in a woman, you are at the risk of getting her infected. And when when it comes in terms of even oral, the uncircum the circumcised feel it more than the circumcised because that outer layer of skin has been cleared and so the skin is tightly around the, the, the nerves and so when the woman puts her tongue or her mouth over it the sensations are, 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 are sharper than the, 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 the uncircumcised because of all that skin before the inner one and then before the, uh, um, the, where, the where the nerve supply is because the head of a, of a man's uh, mass of flesh is highly innovated and, and really you know for, for sensation and for stimulation so the closer you are to the nerve the more exciting it is for the man so the uncircumcised don't feed it i'm not saying that they don't feed anything but not to the level that the circumcised um, you know, uh, man feels so please clean up so that we don't get infections in our mouth and you also don't introduce infection into our body of holies yeah Another thing I want to address when it comes to the men is just like you talk about the woman's weight, I think men should also know that it's important for us as women that you also keep your weights down. When you are on top with that extra mass of muscle, we not only have to deal with your weight, but we also have to deal with the extra mass of flesh that is pressing against us. And, and I gotta tell you, I gotta confess, it's difficult to breathe with all of that stomach. So it'll be nice if you can cut down on the stomach it even helps with better penetration when you have lesser tummy. So please, I know you love the mkobi and the isiwus and the fufus and all that, but keep the tummy down. I know sometimes you see men, they're talking to you when they wear the, the senator thingy and they're stroking their stomach. It's not a badge of honor, to be honest. Keep your tummy down. It helps for penetration as well. It helps for better satisfaction. A lot of times people lie to you that they're satisfied. No, because they're, they're probably getting something from you. But the truth of the matter is, that tummy is not really pleasurable to have. And it make, be honest and act the I, I don't know if women will be bold enough to tell, but it's it's a lot of it's a lot of weight to have to deal with. And men, please, the in betweens of your leg. You know, you have two sacks, and then the the mass of muscle kind well it's you know, it's not two sacks there's two balls in a sack you know what i mean two balls you know in a sack and then you have the please wash hmm? you could wash because there's a smell that is in between that leg do wash just like we're telling the women to practice healthy hygiene in those in that area please also do practice healthy hygiene in your area all that hair here i don't know what that is for you know it's, it's very pleasurable to see a brother with all that and then you sweat and then all that bacteria gets trapped in there and you know oftentimes because people can't smell themselves they don't even know that they smell and then you pass and you give up this and people think you can bounce it with perfume no it's just perfume mixing up with bacterial secretions and it's very very strong and repugnant please shave Please put on good deodorant. 
please change your boxers please wash the in between of your ties please so that all of these things add to the pleasure that a woman enjoys in bed Also try different positions. Don't be comfortable to only be the one on top, be easy. But I think in this case, the men are a little bit more perhaps open to try than the women are, you know, because, you know, they're, they've gone out and all about and they want to bring in whatever. But, you know, I think more men are a little bit more willing to try. So, you know, play around with it, especially when you know what you're working with. You know, not every man is not endowed with the same size of muscle. Some are, some are like this, and some are like this. So, whatever you're working with, there are different positions that is better suited. And for those who have quick ejaculation, you just come one, two. This you can practice control with your wife maybe i'll talk about that in the next my next slide you can practice how to between you and your woman how to have delayed ejaculation and slow down your orgasm the ejaculation so that you can go for a while that excitement builds up so much you can't control yourself we can talk about that later in the next video in the next time sorry in the next slide so it's important that we know the size of your, your third leg can also influence a position that you can take for maximum maximum penetration and then maximum stimulation so that your woman also enjoys because a lot of women complain my husband is small i can't feel i don't even know when he's inside like somebody's always blowing air i don't know the kind of things i hear but because I'm a professional, I can't laugh about it because I do understand. I mean, it's not like we're working in a factory and, and we say, oh, I like that one and we take, no, we all come with whatever we come with and we have to make the, the most of it. And just because it's like this doesn't mean that, you know, people like, it's, it, you know, it's a little bit small size, they're still fertile, they still get women pregnant. So it's, that doesn't have anything to do with fertility. It just has more to do with it doesn't have anything to do with fertility it just has more to do with the satisfaction that you're able to provide for your wife that is the issue not not to say that it is either pleasurable or not i mean whether it's um has a it's not a function of fertility it's just a function of pleasurability so consider all of these things think try different things so if we're asking the women, like I, I dealt with this subject yesterday about women, and if you have anything, please leave me a message, leave me a comment. If there's something you want me to address or to talk about, um, if you don't want it, you can go to my messenger, just send me something directly, or the issues that you need for me to touch on and to address, just holler at me and I will address it as professionally as possible. And then not only will I talk about the next time we have a live, I will talk about um I will talk about also um, pain that women experience during intercourse to address where that is coming from and what can be done about it. But men we have a duty of care, a, a duty to provide pleasure to our women just as we as the women are also you know able to provide pleasure. It should be a balanced interaction. It should be a give and take. Everybody should come away from that experience looking forward to the next time. So, I've addressed women yesterday. Don't forget what we said, women. Sexual hygiene. Sexual hygiene. Wash carefully. Use your fingers. Lots of water. Clean up all the angles. We have a lot of skin and a lot of, for those of us who are not um, circumcised, there's an extra thingy there wash it with water use your shower head put it there let the splash of water go in there clean it up properly make sure it is well cleaned when you pee use your tissue wipe if you don't have moist wipe after the first wipe i wipe i wipe twice i use my tissue first i wipe and the second one i 
splash some water if I don't have my own perfumed wipe because sometimes it tends to cause irritation and women shouldn't be using too many perfume stuff down there it's not even hygienic it's not like advisable have a splash of water clean water on your tissue paper make it moist they overlay it and use it in damp because you in there's a smell so it's get traps in the in the pubic hair so use that you know dab it off take off the extra bit of moisture there you shouldn't patch your legs and then there's a strong smell just oozing out that's unacceptable as a woman change your pads regularly we talked about all this i don't want to have to carry over what we said yesterday but just for the benefit of those who missed out yesterday but it's available you can look for it and you can watch it and it will really help um, we'll do more videos i want to try and keep this until we um subsequently we might increase to an hour i want to try and keep it to 30 minutes because i know that data is an issue back in nigeria and i want to help people to manage their data properly so like i said men cut your nails Keep your nails clean if you want to put your finger inside a woman make sure it's cut make sure it's clean if you want oral give oral please the eggs the bag the mass of muscle kindly kindly wash those areas kindly change your boxes kindly watch your tummy we don't have to deal with all that weight you know pay attention to what you eat not only beer and your probably and point and kill you know cut your tummy down they're also the same way you want your woman to be put together you know, it, it's very irritating when you see men who are um, chubby and, and out of shape saying they want slim pretty girls. I'm like, dude, all that weight. We also don't want all that weight, you know, so that there can be maximum penetration. And also we don't have to have, you know, breathing difficulties when you are having um, intercourse with, with, with your man. And also hygiene, men, pay attention, especially the armpit area, you know, wash up, clean up. If you're not circumcised, that extra layer of skin, kindly pay attention to lift and wash and clean so that you don't introduce bacteria into your woman. Women are very um, keen of having infection. I think I've summarized today's um, talk, so leave me a message and I'll see you again. I'll send out notifications for the next time I'm going to go live. I don't know how often this is going to be, but I want to try to make it um, once or twice a week. Let's see how it goes. I also want to hear from you guys. So. Thank you so much for, for staying with me. Um, this is um, your coach, Coach Chinyere, and this is this blooming room. So I will see you all again the next time and I will send out notifications. Thank you very much for being with me and have a good night. Bye.